Hello, hello. Good night. It's going to be only me and Mr. Fernando. Bye. Good night, sir. Hi, teacher. Hi, how you doing, sir? Uh, so, so. So, so, why? Mm -hmm. What happened? Uh, I'm very tired. Oh, I know yeah. that. Oh, it was really hard today. Was it hard? Yeah, teacher. Oh, what did you do? Um, I work in the Association Agape de Salvador. Oh, okay. In, mm -hmm. in the production area, the uh, area the redes sociales. Oh, social media. Social media. Social media. Oh, that's oh, I know. It's really tough. I understand that perfectly. Definitely. The, the design the page, page world. Oh. Mm -hmm. the página web. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's amazing. That is really interesting. Good night. There you go. Charlie, Mr. Alexander, Edith. Oh, that's good. I'm not going to be the only girl. That's nice. <laughs> Very good. Hey, Edith, Diana. That's amazing. So we have three girls and three boys. That's good. Half and a half, guys. Half and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fernando said that today was really hard for him. What about you? How do you feel today, Alex? Um, very good. Um, I'm working. Uh, when I finished working. Oh. You have you have just finished working right now. No. Um, oh. Okay. Four. Oh, at 4, at 4 p.m.? Uh, yes. Oh, oh my God, but it's still, it was late. Yeah, how, how, okay, and then you have to come here to the, at home and then um, maybe uh, have some dinner, right? Take a little bit of rest. That's nice. Good. But I'm glad that you're here, Alexander. Thank you so much for your commitment. What about you, Charlie? How do you feel today? Uh, happy. Because Happy. Great. tomorrow is Friday and weekend is. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the body knows that it's Friday, right? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. That's amazing. Yes. Very good. I, and tomorrow we're not going to have English classes, so um, that's okay. I understand that. <laughs> I'll just visit you, Charlie. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. What about I know, you? I know. <laughs> How do you feel today? Oh, it's it's very moody, uh, teacher, and I am tired today. Ah, yeah, I know. Everybody also also Fernando. He said it was a really tough day for him, but I'm so glad that you're here. I do really appreciate that. Thank you so much for your effort. What about you, Moran? How do you feel, sir? Hi, how do you feel, Moran? I feel good. You feel I, good, all right. Yeah. You uh, feel I tired? Feel, uh, more activities. Oh, good. Yes. I understand Very that. Very good. That's nice to hear that. Yes. What about you, Claudia? Hi, Claudia, how you doing? Hi, teacher. How are yeah. you, my girl? Oh, fine, teacher, fine. That's nice. That's really nice. Uh, are you tired? Um, no, I'm sick of tired. Cansada. Cansada. Yes, yes. A little I bit, right? Oh, oh my God, I understand that. Yeah, it's really hard day, right? Thursday, but tomorrow is Friday, as Charlie says. So we yeah, all no. close the weekends. Okay, close the weekends. Right. I am. I am work. I am work. Uh, weekend. Oh, you work on weekends? Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh, do you have a day off? Um. Um. Wednesday. Only Wednesday? Yeah. Wow. 
only one day off and only Wednesday. Oh. Wednesday. Okay, at least you have one day. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about you, Javier? Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's nice to have you back. Very good. Good, good night. Very good. Good night. Okay, guys. Really good. Okay, we have 11, so we can't start. The other people will join us later on. <clears throat> I know that you're so good at students that you already double check what we're going to do today. Any ideas? Mm. What's in a name? Uh -huh. Exactly. What else? Yes and no questions. We already saw that yesterday. Ah, <laughs> Charlie gave a really good idea. Exactly. That is part of what we're going to see today. But we're going to do a lot of things today. Today, guys, we're going to develop two important skills in English. The listening and the reading. Especially comprehension. Okay. So today okay. is going to be really, really good and really intensive and really interesting. Okay, uh, let's start something. I will give you one minute to think about the question that I'm going to ask you right now, guys. I'm going to ask you a question. I don't want you to share your idea right now. I will give you one minute to think about it. And then I'm going to ask some of you to share the idea, okay? okay. Let me ask you a question. When you think about your name, when you think about Claudia, Sebastian, Charlie, Javier, Fernando, Moran, etc., what do you feel? Do you feel something? Uh, do you have a feelings for your name? Do you love it? Okay, think about it. I will give you one minute and then I'm going to ask you to share the ideas okay? okay cool okay okay uh, you're not going to see me but i will i will hear you okay i'm going to turn it off the video and then in a minute back i will come okay 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 cool you can write it down as well not a problem i'll be right back don't go okay <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Okay. So guys, the question was it, when you think about your name, what emotions do you feel? If you feel any, and why? And Javier. Yes. Yes. Uh, when you think about your name, what emotions do you feel? Um. Do you like your name, for example? Yes, I like my name. Why? Um, because it's unique. <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's, it's unique. Yeah, oh, okay. it's, oh, excuse me. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's unique in my family. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. So yes. nobody else is named name I, of here? I don't have a name of my grandpa because ah. 
Ah, okay. Well, well, my last name, really? my second name is 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 from my grandpa, but Javier oh. is 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 unique in in a family. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So you feel like really really important guy. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, <laughs> that's great. Very good. What about you, Claudia? Um, uh, I am fine. No, I like. You like your name? Why? I like um, Jim. Mm -hmm. I like I like Jim because um. Four. Mm -hmm. um. Do you feel happy that your mama and your daddy decide to call you Claudia? To name you Claudia? Uh, my name. Mm -hmm. Hey. My name is. I like my name. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, uh, the name of a person, it is part of the identification, right? Yeah. yeah. And do you think that, for example, a names are related to a personality of a person? For example, all Robertos are really angry people. Or for example, all Claudias are really smiley girls. <laughs> or for example, all Jennies are really smart girls. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Or, or all Morans, for example, are really um, are sportive guys. <coughs> that could be, right? Yeah. Ah, that might be. Okay. <clears throat> what about you, Mr. Sebastian? Yeah, I like my name, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. And why you like your name? And Sebastian is in, um, what do you say, Heredal? Oh, it's Heritage. Heritage. Really? My name is Heritage. Me, Heritage for mm -hmm. my grandpa. My grandpa. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh. And... So how do you make, how it makes you feel that you have a name that also has your grandpa and another relatives? How do you feel about it? Do you feel pretty? I, I feel older. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Not like Javier, that he's unique, right? Yeah. He <laughs> is unique. Ah, and, excuse uh, me. Uh, my son, my son to name Sebastian. Really? So we have like three generations or four, yes. right? Okay, because yeah, it's four your four because it's your grandpa, your grandpa, your mm -hmm. father. You yeah. and your son. Hey, that's yeah. amazing. Very good. <clears throat> and last but not least, Mr. Ernesto. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello. sir. How are you doing? Good evening. No, sir, good evening. Uh, mm. when, when you think about your name, Ernesto, what do you yeah. feel about it? Do you like your name? Yes, I like my name. Uh, okay, and why? Um, um, for my nickname. Okay. Neto. Neto. Like, um, okay, because of your nickname. Oh, cool. Yes, exactly. There are some names that we can put it like in, like we shorted. We can shorten it, right? We call it nicknames. Exactly. That your friends and your family calls you, right? Because yeah, the, uh, the, the way they express that you that they love you, for example. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, today we're going to read an article about what is in the name, okay? And in that particular article, today we're going to develop our reading skill, but especially we're going to focus on answer a specific questions, cool? So we're going to develop our reading comprehension, but at the same time, we're going to develop the speaking, okay? No, Got it? No. Okay, cool. All right. So, oh, guys, um, I sh I share with you a link on WhatsApp group. Yes. 
Okay. Yes. Could you please be so kind to let me know if you can double click on it and if you can open it, please? Can you do it for me right now? Ernesto, what happened with the football player t-shirts? I not so good t-shirt. Excuse me? I not so good. I'm flu. Oh, you got a flu. Oh, I really sorry to hear that. Yes, three days. But, oh, um, almost three days like that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, don't well, worry. I mean, Grab a water and then okay, okay. don't participate. Okay, but thank you so much. I'm going to ask you just some questions, but I'm not going to make you participate a lot. Okay, don't worry about that. But thank, thank you. you so much. Okay, guys, could you could you open it the the link that I sent it to you? Yeah, teacher. Okay, cool. So everybody, we're on the same page, right? Okay, that's what I want to know because we're going to start reading. But before we start reading, I will sh I will share with you an audio. Okay, the audio we read the article, so I want you to pay attention on the pronunciation, please. And then we're going to practice, all of us. Is that okay? Okay. Yes. Here. Teacher. Yes, sir. Um, share the link again, please. Oh, of course, not a problem. You you couldn't open it, or what happened? And um, not opening. Okay. Let me share once again. Would you like me to share it through WhatsApp or through the conference that we're right right on right now? Okay, hey Senator again on WhatsApp okay. group. Let me know if you have it, please. Thank you. You're more than welcome, sir. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Okay, great. Very good. Okay, guys, that's amazing. All right. I want everybody to be focused on that right now. And you're going to listen to the recording about it. So please, 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 please. please. Pay attention to that, okay? I want you to do that for me. All right, bear with me for a moment. I'm almost there. Do me a favor, okay? Let me know if you are able to listen to what I'm going to share with you. Okay. Allow me one moment. Okay, cool. Can you hear it, guys? Okay, cool. That's what I want to know. Okay. Let's start from the beginning. I don't want any noise, so please try to focus on the, um, on the listening, right? And at the same time, I want you to pay attention on the reading, but at the same time, I want you to read yourself, but in a silence way, okay? Okay. okay. Cool. Tradition, level one. Unit one, reading. What is in your name? What? in a name look at the names in the article do you know any people with these names what are they like your name is very important when you think of yourself you probably think of, of your name first it's an important part of, of your identity right now the two most popular names for babies in the united states are jacobs for boys and Emma for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are others names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters, or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, People generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. 
Boys names. George. Average. Boring. Jacob. Creative. Friendly. Michael. Good looking. Athletic. Stanley. Nerdy. Serious. Mm -hmm. Girls names. Betty. Old fashioned. Average. Mm -hmm. Emma. Independent. Adventurous. Jane. Plain. Ordinary. Nicole. Beautiful. Intelligent. So, why do parents give their children unpopular names? One reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinion can change over time. A name that is unpopular now may become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Bettys out there. Thank you. Very good, guys. Okay, do me a favor. This is the first time that we're going to practice the listening skill. Uh, right now, I want you to circle or to underline whatever will comfort for you um, the words that you don't know what doesn't mean. I will give you one minute. Could you please do that? Do you understand what I'm asking you? Uh, yeah, yeah, teacher. Yes. Uh, for example, Jane. Yes, Charlie. Plain. Jane. Plain. What yeah, are... don't don't tell me right now. I just want oh. you to circle it or to underline it. No, 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 no. Or to or to take it in into writing in a piece of paper. I will give you one minute and then we're going to discuss that. Cool? Okay. Okay, cool. Just let me know when you're ready, okay? I will write back. Do you finish, guys? Yes? Yeah, I Okay, cool. Okay, we need to go back to the um, uh, to that article and then we're going to discuss it, okay? Let me go back to the article right now. We can discuss it. There you go. Let me do it a little bit bigger. Okay, cool. Okay, the first thing that you said, um, it was plain, right, Charlie? Yeah, teacher. Okay, plain means that somebody is simple. Oh. Any other word, guys, that you don't know what does it mean? Let's share it, okay? We're together right now with the article, right? Could everybody see the article right now? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. Moran, do you have any other word that you don't know what does it mean? Yes. Which one, the, sir? The word there. Where is it? Could you please be so kind to let me know that? Uh, don't they say, so why do parents give their children? Uh, remember, their children. What what adjective is that? Is a possessive adjective? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, nu nuestros. Exactly. No. Sujos. No. Sujos. Sujos. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Um, is there another one? Yes. Uh, okay. Surprisingly. 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 Is sorprendido. Sorprendiva, sorpresivamente. 
Ah, sorpresivamente. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's, that's, that's the only one? Or the only two? Common. Mm -hmm. Common. Common. Very good job. Okay. Exactly. Javier, what about you? Uh, for me, it's a me, a name that is popular now, me become popular in the future. Okay. Uh, um, me. Which one? Now, my. Might. You said might. M I G H T. Might. It's correct. Yes, might. Might means that it's a possibility or a probability that that this name that right now is not popular or unpopular yeah. could be popular in the future. In the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. That is what it means, that expression. Hey, Fernando, what about you? Okay, teacher. Mm, I have a question. Uh, Go ahead. ¿Qué significa subhel? Where is it? Popular name, subhel, very positive things. Popular name, where is it? Popular Com name. Com popular names. So oh, name. suggest. Okay, suggest that means sugiere. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> Very good. What about you, Alex? <sighs> if you have any, any doubts about a word, if not, that's okay. No? Okay. Oh, that's good. What about you, Miss Claudia? Uh, no, teacher. No, that's great. What about you, Sebastian? No, teacher. No, of course, no. What about you, Wendy? No, teacher. Edith, Diana, Marta, Ingrid, Nadia? No. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great. Very good. Average. Which one? Average. Average. Mm -hmm. Average is promedio. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. Okay, guys. Let's practice our um, reading. Is that okay? okay? Okay. Edith, could you please be so kind to read for me the title? What's the topic for this article? Popular name? No, what's the topic? ¿Cuál es el tema? What's the uh, what? Hey. What is the name? Yes. I want you to read it, Edith, as a question. Can you please read it for me? ¿Me puedes leer el título? What, what is what in a name? Very good. Again, you can do it. What's in a name? What is a name? What's in a name? What is a name? No, vamos a verlo despacito. What's, what's, what's in, in a, a name? Name. What's in? What, what's in a What's name? in a? What is? No. What is in an? Re repeat after me. What's in a? <coughs> what's in a? What's in a name? It's a name. No, repeat after me. What's in a name? What is a name? Very good. What's in a name? Hoy con intonation. What, what is a name? No, no what is. Porque acuérdate que estamos en contractions. So quiero que pronuncies como contraction. What's in a name? What, what is a name? No, what's is no. What's in a name? What's in a name? Very good, fantastic. You see, you can do it. Very good job, Edith. Amazing. Ah, yes, this teacher is tough. I know, but I want you to pronounce it correctly. So, very good job. Good job, girl. I'm so proud of you. Alrighty, who's uh, who's going? Uh, Nadia. 
Could you please, be, hello girl, could you please be so kind to read for me the instructions? I mean, the, the red square, el cuadro rojo. Okay. Look at the name in the article. Do you know any people with the, these names? What are they like? Very good. Okay, guys. Which are the names that the article shows? George, Jacob, Michael, Stanley, for boys and for girls? Betty. Betty, yes. What Betty. else? Emily. Emily? Jane. Jane. Yeah. Nicole. Exactly. Okay, guys. These are not Latin uh, names. This is our American names. American names. But do you know somebody that has the, these names? Conocen a alguien que tenga este nombre? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And tell me something. Could you please let me know the personality of that person? What are they like? Como son? ¿Cuál es su personalidad? Um, Diana. Yes. ¿Cuál de estos nombres tú conoces? ¿Alguien que se llama como qué? ¿O quién? A girl. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. ¿No oh, conoces my. a ninguna Betty? ¿O uh, Emily? Um, Nicole, maybe. Nicole, uh, ok. Could you please describe me uh, what is Nicole like? Um, Nicole is... is Mm, beautiful is a, uh, uh, yes beautiful. and intelligent mm. but the Nicole yes. that you know la persona que tú conoces que se llama Nicole what is she like como es uh, ella Nicole was a friend in the, in the school ok and, and she was with, with me friendly Ah, okay, she was friendly, okay. And smart. And a smart. Mm, yeah. Very good job. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> Martita, what about you? Um, I know uh, a person, uh, she, she name is Emily. Her name is Emily, okay. Emily. And what is Emily like? She is very funny. Okay. She is um, intelligent. Okay, that's great. What she else? Beautiful. Okay, of course. <laughs> oh, that's nice. All righty. Only, only that. That's great. Yes. What about you, Charlie? Um, uh, I know uh, one, two, three, three names. Um, okay, three. good. Go ahead. Emily and Nicole. Betty okay. and Emily are neighbors. Okay. And Nicole uh, no, is a neighbor. But, mm -hmm. um, what are they like? Uh, so beautiful. <laughs> uh, okay, but I don't want about a physical appearance. I want to know about uh, personality. Is, is. <laughs> Uh huh. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, she is very tall. Um, tall. Uh, her skin is her, uh -huh. her skin is white. Um, okay. Her eyes are color. Uh huh. <laughs> but you're describing me her as uh, physically, and I don't want to know physically. I want to know her personality. Oh. Uh huh. Uh, friendly. Friendly. Okay. Cool. Friendly, that's nice. Hey, thank you. What about you, Ingrid? Do you know anybody on uh, uh, the same name as the article shows? Um, Michael. Michael, okay. What is Michael like? Como es Michael? What is Michael like? Personality. He is creative. Okay. Adventure. Okay. And friendly. Oh, that's nice. Guys, 
Do you listen carefully the tone of voice that Ingrid uses when she described Michael? <laughs> said, I know a name. His name is Michael. Okay. My my friend name name is Michael. Really? Yeah, teacher. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yes, yes but she she said Michael. Uh huh. No, Michael, Michael Jackson. Is, no, no, Michael. <laughs> no, okay. Michael is angry, but but very smart. Oh, that's nice. Very good. Yeah. You see, that and was they different. Play they play soccer. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. So he said he's angry and smart, and Ingrid said he's creative, he's adventure, he's friendly. Wow. <laughs> Maybe he's her husband. <laughs> that might be yeah. very good, guys. So you see, uh, each person has like uh, different characteristics, right? Okay, so yeah. guys, let's practice. Let's continue practices. Because after the, we start, we start reading the article, after we finish, I'm going to ask you a specific questions regarding the information of the article, okay? So I want you to pay attention 100%, please. Okay, Sebastian, could you start reading, please, for me? The first paragraph, if you don't mind. Your name is very important. Thank you. When you think of yourself, you probably, uh, what do you say, uh, the, the word probably? Probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. Think of your name first. Probably. It is an important part of your identity. 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 Exactly. Very good job. Very good. Do you think this? Yes, right. It's really part. Of our personal uh, name is really part, a really important part of our identity. That's right. That's great, because that makes us unique. Very good. Thank you, Sebastian. Continue, Alex. Alexander, with the second paragraph, please. Right now, the two most popular names for babies mm -hmm. in the um, United States. United States mm -hmm. are Jacob, four Jacob. Boys, Jacob, mm -hmm. four boys, and Emily, four girls. Very good. Why are why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Very good, very good. And good intonation, Alexander. Why are these names popular? Why are some names unpopular? Very good job, excellent. Thank Wendy, you. continue with the third paragraph, please, girl. Okay. Names can become popular because of famous actor, mm -hmm. TV or book, characters, or athletes. Popular names, uh, how do you say the word, teacher? Suggest. Suggest. Mm -hmm. uh, very positive things. Unpopular mm -hmm. names suggest negative things. Mm -hmm. uh, sur, sur single. All right. So people generally agree on the way to feel about names. Here are some common opinion about names from a recent survey. 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 That means encuesta. Survey. Survey. Okay. Very good job. And then we have the common names for boys and the common names for girls. All right. Very good. Um, Javier, could you please be so kind to read for me the column for common boys' names? Okay. Uh, George, Average, mm -hmm. uh, Lauren. Okay, continue. Jacob, creative and friendly. Mm -hmm. Michael, good looking and athletic. Okay. Stanley, nerdy and serious. Very good job, thank you. Um, let me double check who else. Martita, could you please be so kind to read for me girls' names? Um, very old fashion, mm -hmm. average. Very good. Independent, uh, adventure. Okay. Jane, plain, ordinary. 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 Nicole, beautiful, 
Entendeu? Very good job. Moran, continue reading, please. Yeah. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? Mm -hmm. The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. Mm -hmm. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for us. The George and Betty of there. Exactly, because George and Betty's are not popular names, right? If you see the description, they're really bad descriptions. So maybe in the future, they might change. For example, in the case of Sebastian, Sebastian's name is because it's a tradition. His old parent was Sebastian, his father, his name is Sebastian as well, and he has a son whose name is Sebastian, right? Very good job. Okay, guys, I'm going to put you together in a group, okay? You're going to work together because you're going to work reading comprehension, okay? That's what I want you to work right now. And then I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Could you please be so kind to write it down, the questions? Okay. Okay, let, let me know if you can grab a pen or a pencil. And a piece of paper, please. Okay. All right, are you ready? Yeah, okay. Ready. Okay, the first question. I just want you to put yes or no, okay? Or true or false. That's a true or false. The first question is, your name is part of your identity. That is the first question. The second one. People often feel the same way about a particular name. Number three, boys' names are more popular than girls' names. Number four, people are often named after family members. And finally, number five, opinions about names can change. Would you like me to repeat it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Number one, your name is part of your identity. You gotta let me know true or, fa or false. Number two, people often feel the same way about a particular name. True or false? Number three, boys' names are more popular than girls' names. Number four, people are often named after family members. And number five, opinions about names can change. Okay, guys, don't worry about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you together. Hey, Gabriel, thank you so much. Nice oh, to meet hello. you, sir. Hello, thank sir. You. All right. Hello. Okay, guys, nice I'm to going you. to, I know, I'm going to put it together. But on the chat, I will write down all the questions, okay? Okay. okay, cool. Okay, I'll be right back. We're at step 18 right now. So we need to put it right now in practice. <laughs> okay, let's make it four groups. There you go. The invitation is sent to you right now. Hello, Gabriel. Hello. Oh, me está invitando a otro.
preguntas que ella hizo, uh -huh. eh, Gabriel. Uh -huh. De las preguntas que ella formuló, es lo que tenemos que responder. Exactly. Based on the article that we have just read, there are five questions. Uh -huh. There are just five announcements. All that I want you to do is to let me know if it's true or false. That's it. That's it. Oh. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. Uh -huh. That's why I sent you the article because that is because you need to like make a reading comprehension. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't want you to read the article over all over again. Uh -huh. I just want you to let me know true or false. Then we're going to double check together. Okay. okay. Cool. All yeah. right, guys. I'll be okay, right you. back. You're welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. hello. Do you understand what we're doing right now? What is... I, I want to see you guys. I don't see you. Oops. Who's making a lot of noise? Hi, Ernesto. Anita, Eddie, Ingrid. Yeah. Okay. Okay. From the article that we have just read, there are five announcements, five sentences. All that I want you to do is to let me know if it's true or false. That's it. For what you have understood, because we have re already just read the article, okay? okay. Don't worry if, if you make a mistake. Don't worry about it. But I don't want you to read the article all over again to find the answer. No way. That's what you understood, what you remember, answer. Okay? Is that clear? Okay, cool. You have 20 seconds right now. Thank you. Ah, thank you. My pleasure. Hi! Hi, guys! Hi! How is it going? Good. Uh, Good? I Do you understand? I don't have a question, teacher. Incomplete. The, Incomplete the question. question. Okay, that's why I'm here. Okay, we have just listened to the article and read the article together, okay? Okay, we have five sentences that they are affirmative sentences. Or negative sentences. All that I want you to do is to let me know if it's true or if it's false. Yes. That's it. And I don't want you to read the article all over again. No way. Just what you have remembered, you're going to answer yes or no. Don't worry if you make a mistake. Don't worry. But we're practicing right now reading comprehension. Okay? Okay. okay. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, you will have 10 seconds. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. You, how are you guys doing right now? Uh -oh. Did you understand Hello. the activity? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I already have answered. True or false? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, guys, let's get back together, okay? And double check the okay. answers. All righty. All right, everybody's here together. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Uh, let me double check. Uh, who's going? It was four uh, groups. Who's going to answer for me? Number one, okay, Sebastian. Yes. According to the article, your name is part of your identity. True or false? True. Excuse me? True. True, very good job, exactly. All right, um, Gabrielle. Yeah. Okay, 
according to the article, people often feel the same way about a particular name. True or false? Um, let me see. Can you repeat, please? Um, people often feel the same way about a particular name. True. 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 Are you guys uh, agree with him? Yeah. Yes, Charlie? Ernesto, yes. Fernando? Yes. Yanita? Yes. Okay. Very yes. good, Gabriel. Javier, thank you so yes. much. Number three. Boys' names are more popular than the girls' name. Is it true or it's false? False. 50-50. 50-50. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, according to Javier's opinion. But what about the article? What the article says? True or false? Uh, false. False. Okay. Very good. Uh, uh, um, Danita. People mm -hmm. are often named after family members. True or false? True. Are you guys agree? Yeah. Yes. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Mr. Alexander, last but not least, opinions about names can change? Um, what the article said? Uh, pues... True or false? <coughs> false. False. Okay, that's what he false. said. What do you think, guys? Is it true or is false? False. false. True. Who said true? False. Yeah. Who said true? Gabriel. True. Why? Why is it true? Uh, of course, opinion. Uh, because the article uh, say, of course, opinion can change over time. A name that isn't popular now might become popular in the future. Exactly. Very good job, Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that was nice. Excellent job. Amazing, guys. You see? Reading comprehension. You see? It's really important to practice. People said, ah, yes, read. Piece of cake. No way. Read is not as simple as it is. Was it made thing? Mm -mm. Reading really is different. Imagine in English. In Spanish is different. And it's difficult. And in English, it's more difficult. All right? Very good. We have uh, developed right now the listening skill and also the reading and comprehension. But guys, let's continue to develop the listening, okay? Okay, okay cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to put an audio. <laughs> and I want you to pay attention because they're, doing, they're going to ask three questions. And you need to like fill in the blank. Okay? For example, okay. there will be three columns. On the first column, it will be the first name of the person. But on the second, and on the column is not going to be the first name, it's going to be the last name. But the last name is not there. So you need to listen carefully. What's the last name of the person? And the last question is talking about where is the people from? So you need to listen carefully about the country, okay? Okay. We're going to practice listening. I told you that we're going to develop that skill. And that is one of the skills that is really hard to develop. But we're going to do it with practice. Okay, cool? Okay, let me figure it out, the one that I have here, and then I will show it to you. I will share the screen with you, okay? Just allow me a couple of minutes, and then I will build with you. <laughs> okay, guys. It's going to be a conversation, um, and then basically we need to complete the information about each person, okay? We have three columns, first name, last name, and where from. Okay, so I want you to listen carefully, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. You, you can also make a list, if you would like to, on a piece of paper, put the three columns, first name, last name, and where from? Don, teacher. Don, cool. Okay. Bear with me for a moment, and I will show it to you my screen, and then I'm going to share with you. Okay. So bear with me. There you go. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Let me share screen right now. Okay. 
of guy. Can you see it, guys? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Cool. All right. So let's listen carefully. Listen to the conversations. Complete the information about each person. One. Chris, this is my friend Lucy. We're in the same English class. Hi, Lucy. I'm Christopher Olson, but everyone calls me Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. What's your last name again? It's Olsen. O-L-S-E-N. And where are you from, Chris? I'm from here, the United States. Originally from Los Angeles. Wow! How do you like Los Angeles? Oh, I love it. It's my favorite city. Two. Okay, Ms. Sanchez, let me just check this information. Is your first name spelled I-S-A-B-E-L? No, it's not. My first name is Isabella. It's spelled I-S-A-B-E-L-A. -E okay, thanks. And you're from Argentina, right? <laughs> no, I'm not from Argentina. I'm from Mexico. Oh, sorry, Mexico. But you are studying English. Actually, I'm not. I'm a business student. Business. Okay. Got it. Three. Excuse me. Are you Hyung Kim? Yes, I am. Is your brother Min Ho Kim? Yes, he is. Tell me, is Min Ho still here at the university? No, he's not. He's at home in South Korea. Oh, he's in South Korea? Is he in school there? Yeah, he's at Seoul University this semester. Okay. Listening. How was it? Would you like me to put it one more time? Yes, please. please. Okay, we're going to put it one more time and I'm going to stop because we have three conversations. Have you figured it out that? We have three conversations, okay? Yes. And in yes. each conversation, we need to like figure it out two things or one thing different, exactly. So the first one, we need to figure it out what is Chris's last name and where is he from, okay? When they finish the first conversation, I'm going to pause, okay? To give you time to write the answer. And then we're going to go with number two and then, and then number three conversation. Is that good? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, go ahead. What's your last name again? <clears throat> Listen to the conversations. Complete the information about each person. One. Chris, this is my friend Lucy. We're in the same English class. Hi, Lucy. I'm Christopher Olson, but everyone calls me Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. What's your last name again? It's Olsen. O-L-S-E-N. And where are you from, Chris? I'm from here, the United States. Originally from Los Angeles. Wow! How do you like Los Angeles? Oh, I love it. It's my favorite city. Okay. All right, guys. Um, Harley, yeah. what is Chris's last name? Yeah. His last name is Olsen. Very good. How is it spelled, Gabriel? Uh, o. Mm -hmm. excuse, me, excuse me. Give me a minute. Uh, okay. O L S E. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Fernando, where is Chris from? Los Angeles. Los Angeles, California. Which country, Ernesto? United States. Very good job. Excellent. Let's continue with number two, okay? Okay. Two. Okay, Ms. <laughs> Sanchez, let me just check this information. Is your first name spelled I-S-A-B-E-L? No, it's not. My first name is Isabella. It's spelled I 
S A B E L A. Okay, thanks. And you're from Argentina, right? <laughs> no, I'm not from Argentina. I'm from Mexico. Oh, sorry, Mexico. But you are studying English. Actually, I'm not. I'm a business student. Business. Okay, got it. All right, Mr. Moran. What is the first name of Miss Sanchez? Isabella. Isabella. Very good, Sebastian. How do you spell Isabella? E S A B E L A. E or I? <laughs> I. I. Very good job. All right, Javier. Where is Isabella from? She's from Mexico. Very good job. Excellent. You see, you're a smart guys. Very good. Let's focus on the third conversation, okay? Let's continue. Three. Excuse me. Are you Hyun Kim? Yes, I am. Is your brother Min Ho Kim? Yes, he is. Tell me. Is Minho still here at the university? No, he's not. He's at home in South Korea. Oh, he's in South Korea? Is he in school there? Yeah, he's at Seoul University this semester. All right, Nadia. What is Minho's last name? Kim. Kim? Very good. How do you spell it? Uh, Diana? Mm. Do I your best. Understand. <laughs> How do you spell the, the last name of Kim? Is the last name of Miho. How do you spell it? Kim. Mm -hmm. K. Mm -hmm. I. Very good. M. N as in Nancy or M as in mom? M like a mom. Mm, are you sure? Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's Anna Sing Nancy. Very good. But after that, well, you're missing one letter. Um, one letter. Yeah, it's G as in good. King. G, G exactly. Uh, King. Okay. Como Rey. Yeah, King. Very good job. Okay, Americo. Where is Mijo from? I cannot hear you. Could you please repeat it to me? Miho is from South Korea. South Korea. Very good job. Excellent, guys. You see? You are really smart, guys. That's why I love you. Very good. Okay. Okay. Do you, how was your class? Do you like it today? Yes. Yeah. 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 Like we, good. we put it a lot of practice, guys. We emphasize the reading skill. The comprehension, and at the same time, the listening skill. Okay? It is really important. Okay. So, you know what? I'm sorry. I know you love me, but it's time to say goodbye. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Moran. I knew it. Go ahead, sir. How do you mean Spanish? Piece of cake and piece of paper? Piece of paper is a pedazo de papel. It, and Piece is pedazo. Es pedazo. Y lo otro que escucho es piece of cake. Algo así. Piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Literalmente, of cake. yeah, literalmente es un pedazo de pastel. pastel. Pero ah. no, esa expresión cuando nosotros la usamos significa que es algo que como el pedazo de pastel usted se lo come rápido y con gusto y de un solo, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces mm -hmm. A nosotros significa que es algo ah, super fácil, que es pan comido para mm, ustedes. Okay. Eso significa piece of cake. Es una expresión que nosotros piece usamos. Piece of cake. Piece of okay. cake. It's not piece of, okay. of cake. Come on, why is not a piece of cake? <laughs> why not? <laughs> of course it is. Is maybe uh, not right now, Claudia. My baby will be in the future. She wants two okay. pieces of cake. <laughs> exactly. Remember, practice makes perfection. Okay. okay. As more okay. you practice, as better you will be. 
That's why I, I, I give it to you this kind of exercises because I want you to do exactly the same at home. Put some video, put some article, put it just reading, just listening without reading. Then you go with reading and the listening at the same time and then try to ask a specific question of the article. And always, guys, always figure it out, the words that you don't know what doesn't mean. Okay. Always. But I will teach in, in the continued lessons, which is going to be next coming week, we're going to continue doing the same. We're going to develop reading, listening, speaking, and writing. We're going to develop the four skills. But in each skill, we're going to emphasize in an, a specific details of each skill. Okay? Because we're going to continue okay. to develop it. Got it? Next week, we're going to emphasize on scanning and scheming. Aha, uh -huh. I knew, Gabriel, a big question mark in your forehead, <laughs> right? Uh, right. No, hey, hey, excuse me, it's not that. That is loser. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, <laughs> big question mark. That's different. For some of the guys that used to be with me in the past model, like Ingrid, for example, Nadia, Mr. Moran, Peñate, Alexander, etc., they have a little bit of an idea what am I talking about. Right, Moran? <laughs> right, Moran? Uh, right. Please don't make me don't make me look bad. <laughs> Uh -huh. You already know what I'm talking about. Well, we're going to develop those skills. I promise you guys. Any questions so far? So far, so good? Yes. Yes? So far, yes. So far, so good. Good. Yes, you have a question, Maureen? Spanish, so far, so good. Uh, hasta ahorita vamos bien. Okay. Yes. So far, so good. See? Sí? Okay. Okay. Yes. No importa. Cualquier um, uh, okay. coloquialismo yes. que usted quiera saber en inglés, me avisa, ¿ok? Okay. Les voy a ir dando muchos coloquialismos que nosotros okay. los usamos mucho. ¿Ok? Sí. Okay. Very okay. good. Ok, it's time to say goodbye. Good night. Good dream. Goodbye. 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 Have a lovely goodbye. one. Hugs and kisses. See you next week. And please study. Okay. okay. And Good have night. a great, great, great weekend. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.